obviously we would love to encourage people to do more research in this area, but also I think sometimes one can th see it as being quite bleak. Our impact on the lives of animals is fairly damning for the most part. Um, and there are many animals that through direct or indirect impact um, and interaction with us are not doing well. But from an optimistic point of view, there are many situations where we have improved the lives of animals, whether that's because we now behave better or whether it's because we are actively seeking to find out how to do better with our interactions with animals. And, and so certainly, hopefully, once we've given this overview of what we currently know about the interactions between humans and, and animals in these different contexts, there's also hopefully a, 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 a call to arms of how can we best use this information to benefit the, the animals that we live alongside. And, and, you know, if they're doing well and thriving, then so will we. I think this differs from other books in the field in that we have taken that very wide view of all the different situations in which humans and animals come into contact. Uh, there are quite a lot of very good books out there on anthrozoology, but they tend to stick with one particular scenario. So there are lots of books on companion animals, for example. There are some very good books on agricultural animals. For the other scenarios, there, there are no, no real books on, on any of them. So laboratory animals, there was a very good book published in the early 90s, but it's, it's long out of print and uh, uh, has never really been um, replaced with anything else. Um, zoo animal research is still very much a, a growing field. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger by the year, but there hasn't really been any any book about uh, human animal interactions in the zoos. So I think really what we've tried to do is produce something that hasn't been done before to bring all those different scenarios together. And because it is such a wide field and it covers such a lot of different disciplines, because uh, Vicky and I both have a, a, a science way of doing these things, we both have a science background, so we tend to see these as problems of science. But not everybody does. Some people take an anthropological view or a sociological view, um, an educational view, a philosophical view about our relationships with animals. And we wanted to try and encompass some of them into it as well. And it seemed that the best way of doing that was to, to assemble some, some of the, the experts in the field, really, to write about their own expertises. And, uh, and that's brought about a, a multi-author book, really, which I think I hope will set a standard for, for books to come and for research to come.